Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another LEGO Batman movie set review. Today we're looking at set number 70902, the Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. It comes with 139 pieces and in the United States retails for $19.99. Comes with three minifigures as well as two small builds. Let's take a closer look. The main story behind this scene is fairly obvious in this set. You've got Catwoman who is trying to rob or it has, is trying to escape after robbing a jewelry store. Uh, so you get a small little jewelry store build as well as Catwoman's cat cycle. We'll look at that first. Uh, nice color scheme I think. It really does match the character pretty well. These are printed pieces here. You get a total of five in the set. I'm not sure what else you want to use those for but that is a pretty nice pattern on there. I'm sure it could be useful. Got two on each side as well as the one spare part. The build is fairly straightforward. You can see a lot of Technic used in it uh, to get some very nice angles. So I think the designers did a great job uh, making a very good looking cycle with just a relatively small amount of pieces. She does have a console in front of her that you can see there. If it'll focus, there we go. And that is actually a print no sticker there that was a uh, surprising but that was a printed piece so great to get that I don't think that was necessary to make that a printed piece but they did it so I'm not gonna complain uh, this steering wheel is just this pair of handlebars which works out fine for a motorcycle of course and she sits nicely down in there and now you see the problem <laughs> with this she sits on part of a 2 by 4 black plate so her legs get stuck you can see right there it's all four studs are exposed I think they should have I don't know done something a little bit differently there it's part of the structure of course but every single time I try to pull her off of this thing uh, her legs and belt get left behind and her torso and head come with it so that's a little unfortunate I understand that it keeps her from sliding around but she does have the handlebars to hold on to which would keep her keep her in there pretty well anyway so I don't don't think that was the best part of this design but other than that it does look very good the other build is a very small very simple jewelry store have a street lamp out front one of the play features is that you can use that to try to capture Catwoman or maybe it just gets knocked over in the chaos of chasing her down but you can also use it drop it on top of her bike so she can't drive off Really simple build for that, but it does the job. You can obviously tell what it is. A, pr not a printed, sorry, a stickered piece over on this wall. Looks like there's a cat in a tree asking for help. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a missing animal sign somebody stuck up on the side of the building. Although it looks like it is coming from the cat in the tree. Uh, so I guess it took the time to uh, let the newspaper know it needed saving. <laughs> A little odd, but it's a it's a nice little sticker nonetheless. Small garbage can here, nothing inside of that. You could of course just throw some extra pieces in. And the jewelry store from the back, you can see it's super, super empty. You just have a little counter window display here with two jewels on it. Nice to get these pieces though. You get uh, three of those in the set total. The one by four brick bricks. And there's Robin standing outside, closed sign in the window, so this is probably happening at night, which I guess also makes sense since they are uh, in their costumes. And that really does it for this set. So pretty small set overall. Let's see what the minifigures look like up close. The three figures in this set are from left to right, Batgirl, Robin, and Catwoman. And these figures are probably the reason most people are going to get this set, because this version of Catwoman is completely exclusive to this. You do get her character in the Arkham Asylum set, but that set is also $150. Um, but she doesn't have her full jumpsuit on there, it's just her, uh, just her hat, I believe. And then, of course, this is the cheapest way by far to get Robin and Batgirl. So an excellent way to pick up those figures as well, if you're interested in that. Here is a look at them from the front. As far as accessories go, Robin gets nothing other than his cape. Batgirl does get two yellow batarangs and a utility belt piece. 
and Catwoman gets a whip. There's, of course, an extra battering, an extra utility belt, and an extra whip included in this set. Before we remove everything, here is what they look like from the back. You can see the nice shimmering effect on the cloaks, or the capes, for Robin and Batgirl there, as well as nice printing on the back of Catwoman. Let's go ahead and remove some of these so you can see alternate faces. And all three do have an alternate face. Look at those faces from the front. I really like the expressions for Robin, and well, really in all of these sets. Uh, just a very, very interesting character. Looking forward to seeing what he does in the movie. Unfortunately, these capes are the older style material, so they'll get really bent up if you're not careful or if you place them inside of any vehicles. Of course, you don't get any vehicles for the heroes in this set, so it's not an issue here. But that could be a problem. And there's the back printing on those two with their cowls removed. So overall, very nice figures. Love the dual molding that you get on two of these as well as the leg printing. Lego is really up to their game here with printing on figures. You get side printing as well on the arms for Catwoman and Batgirl, as well as the legs down there. There we go. Down on the feet for Batgirl. Look at those boots all printed up. Amazing figures overall for this year in Lego. Let's go ahead and move on to my final thoughts for this set. For my final thoughts on this set, I would say it's an okay set. The main reason to get it would be for the minifigures. I also think the build for Catwoman's bike is pretty neat. The jewelry shop is honestly pretty forgettable. You get some okay stickers in this set if you want to make your own little jewelry shop, I suppose, but I don't know. <laughs> I would say the main reason to get this set, and really the only reason to get it, would be for those minifigures. They are fantastic, and it's the cheapest way to get all of them by far so if you just start collecting the characters from the movie and don't necessarily want all the different versions of them or buying all the big sets this is a good way to get those characters i don't think this set is worth the 20 dollars price point it only has 139 pieces so the price per piece isn't great the three figures is nice for a 20 dollars set but we've gotten 20 dollars sets before in lego superheroes themes with three figures that have much better builds than this so it's kind of a mixed bag there. I would recommend getting it for the minifigures, but if you don't really care that much about these particular minifigures, you can probably pass on it and be just fine. Let me know what you think about this set down in the comments below, and I hope you are looking forward to the Batman movie.